So I just want to take a quick few minutes just to talk about um, allergies and the fact that I have a very unconventional one that um, is not very common, um, but it affects my life a lot. So um, just <laughs> to share, um, I have an allergy to citric acid, so that means that I can't have anything with um, you know, anything that has like lemons or oranges or high acidity levels, um, it just completely knocks me out. Um, I get very fatigued. I can almost get, um, flu-like or cold symptoms. My nose gets very congested. I, you know, um, difficulty breathing, um, at moments at my worst, it's, you know, I've broken out into hives. I get very, very itchy. Um it completely like drains and exhausts my body complete you know just wear it to the point where like there's just no way I'm able to keep my eyes open like I just have to lay down um I haven't always had it uh it's actually just something new that's developed in the last two years so it's has not been fun to <laughs> get used to because when you start reading the labels you know there's citric acid in everything and I mean everything like even rice cakes uh, cake mixes uh, you know any and you know BCAs or anything like that you know it's all in there because it's all flavored you know and so you know when I when I go to the grocery store I have to read everything that's in the ingredient list because otherwise I don't want to risk having an allergic reaction or getting sick or anything like that. So I'm very conscious of, you know, what I'm putting into my body. Uh, so it makes it really difficult, especially when I'm, when I'm going out, cause I have to read everything. And, and since it is still fairly, fairly new, cause two years isn't that long, you know, there are certain things that I'll miss. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm having an attack and I'm just you know, crazy itchy or, you know, I've broken out in hives or there's been times where like, you know, my lips have just swollen up really bad. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it sucks. <laughs> Let's just be honest. It sucks. It's one of the worst allergies to have. Like I would rather have peanut allergies cause everything's peanut free nowadays. So <laughs> to have this and you know, it's not, and it's, and it's so uncommon, you know, it's not really big on the priority list of things for people to work on. Um, so, you know, some of the things I do miss, lemonade, you know, never going to have a sip of that again. Uh, but, you know, there's always the odd chance that, you know, because it didn't have it my entire life, that, you know, maybe later on it'll go away on its own. So here's hoping. Um, <laughs> but for now, I just have to be really careful of what I what I eat, what I drink, and um, what, I be, what I'm around, because even um, those plug-in little scented things, uh, I have to be careful on what scent I buy because if I buy lavender, I'm fine. But if I buy like any sort of like tropical or, you know, Hawaiian flavored, you know, scent, um, it's instant allergic reaction just to even the smell. Um, to give you an example, when we moved last year, my husband had our couches cleaned by a uh, company that uses a orange and citrus cleaner and he didn't he had forgotten about my allergy or just didn't realize it and so when they came to clean the house the entire house smelled of uh, lemons and oranges I thought I was going to die <laughs> I can sleep for days uh, I couldn't breathe I just like my insides were hurting my entire body was just it felt like it was dying and uh, it took almost a week and a half in order for first of all for the smell to leave and for me to even recover but I was so absolutely exhausted just just from the smell so and I hadn't even ingested anything so that was um, just a real eye-opener that it is something that's very serious and that I do need to um, you know be more aware of and more mindful of and just that's it you know just live with it it is what it is what can I do you know, it uh, helps in the in the fact that you know I don't eat a lot of junk now because you know I have to <laughs> make sure it doesn't have it. But the thing is, there's no citric acid in chocolate, so I still get to eat that. So it's all good <laughs> in that regard. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you have a great day. Bye.